good day everyone welcome to studio 39 design studio this is Richmond speaking your resident architect this is the beginning of a six part video series on how to set up your own personal template which you can save and use anywhere anytime you can also edit it as you find more efficient ways to use archicad uh, so as you can see i do have my own template which i've created uh, quite a number of uh, a number of years back because uh, i've been using archicad for over seven years right now uh, past seven years so i do have a standard but for this uh instance i want us to use um the archicad templates which is already preset by archicad when you uh, when you get it so um with that said uh let's just get into it so when you start up archicad this is basically what you get uh obviously you just get a ground floor plan and uh uh, this is basically the interface. So before we go any further with setting up the template, I just want us to get acquainted with the the, the, the interface of Archicad and how to set it up so that everything is within uh, reach uh, for you when you are actually doing your design workflow. So basically what you get here is um, uh, this is basically the Archicad interface and uh, let's just get into it. So a couple of things I want us to get into is uh, I want us to get into uh, the right up here uh, this drop down menus. Obviously, you have file. You can open a new template. You can not not necessarily a new template, but a new Archicad uh, project, or uh, you can open an existing Archicad project. You can save your current archicad project or you can save as uh, depending on whether you are ex uh, saving maybe as a pdf or as a uh, as, as a rendered image or whatever uh, it's really up to you uh, later on i'll be showing you guys how to work the project info tab uh, so that's uh, something that you should be uh, looking forward to as we go deeper into the series but more importantly right now because i don't want us to take a lot of time here is uh, I just want to go to the window uh, drop down menu uh, obviously here you can see that we have the toolbars and currently we have a toolbar right here on top uh, this toolbar does indicate quite a, a couple of things which are very much essential to Archicad as you can see you have uh, your undo and you have your redo and it does show shortcuts like in uh, in in brackets so if I go to this uh, this is a measure uh, uh, this is when you want to measure you can just press m and then uh, it, it brings in that ruler which shows distance angle x coordinates and y coordinates and then you can use it to measure you can also measure area and angles and everything like that according to your preference or what you need at the time so if you just double click it right here when you see that uh, uh, that you can stretch it uh, however you like uh, and you can once you see that cross right below that uh, uh, the close uh, tab right there you can double click it and it docks itself wherever it came from uh, so basically this is sort of like the standard so if you go to windows and then you go to toolbars this is the standard uh, toolbar so if I take it out it goes away if I just go back to toolbars and then I press on standard check it into view as you can see here it's checked in uh, there are other ones but uh, I want us to get into that towards the end I'm not really I don't really want us to go deeper into that first of all let's just talk about the interface uh, so basically what you get is uh, you get this this is called a a tool box and then this is the info box so if I go here I can have I can just scroll and get that info box this is just quite common to Archicad I don't prefer using it like this what I do prefer is uh, because I already understand that this is a wall this is a door blah blah blah, blah I can just uh, sort of like slide the edge in and then all I see is uh, the icons and uh, the reason being why I like that is now because I have more real estate so with that real estate what I can do is I can undock the info box and just dock it next to 
um, my tools basically so if I do this I don't have to scroll it's, it's actually an ISO if it's if it's right there that's hope I, I don't prefer that I, I, I find it easier uh, to use it when it's sort of like a, a vertical rather than horizontal it just shows more information more efficiently basically for me and uh, so even with the with the toolbox you can right click it and then go toolbox and then you can go ahead and obviously under design these are the uh, icons or tools that you can use under documents these are the tools you can use under more these are the tools you can use you can remove some of them if you don't want to see them so if i say okay here uh, some of the ones that i just removed are no longer showing there so that's just basically something that uh, you can do uh, if you want to use if if you are keen on using that type of information so another thing I want to add is uh, there is this on the side here this is sort of like the uh, what you call this this is actually a um, navigator so this navigator right here uh it, it shows sort of like the flow areas the sections the elevations and other important information for your design workflow uh 3d you can save 3ds you can save or create schedules uh and everything like that so um that's very important information so what i suggest you do you just go to palettes and then uh you just show main palettes uh only and uh with that said uh, the toolbox, the info box, the, the status bar, which is, uh, I don't use really that much, and the navigator and quick options uh, are, are shown in view. These are the quick options right here. So I can just double click them, they just dock back to where I, I remove them from. And uh, so basically, that's the information that you need. This is quite valuable information. You just need to have it in view while, while you're working in Archicad. So uh with that said let's just go back into uh palettes uh, other palettes that you might want to use later on are like uh, quick layers i like having quick layers i can all uh, uh for myself if i i'm doing uh i'm doing work it's part of my design workflow and then uh, i can use something like a, a profile manager uh, obviously you won't have to go to uh palettes and uh, do all of this there are much easier ways to to get around all of this information so uh, yeah so let's just go back to our toolbar so uh, basically our toolbar has some information here so what you can do and i want to do is i want to check in all the toolbars that we have uh and, and then i'll show you which ones i prefer using it's really going, going to be up to you uh, it's really up to you to create whatever template you want to create and how to create create your uh, your sort of like efficiency when it comes to workflow to design workflow so uh, I'm gonna show you my my preferred uh, sort of like toolbars which I like to have in views because uh, of certain things that they have so I'm just gonna do that so just bear with me for a moment okay guys so i've gone through the process of bringing uh, all the two uh, bars into into view and now i can sort them out and find out which ones i prefer to use and which ones i do not want to be showing so uh, i can easily tell you that this one i use it quite a lot because i like to so when you when you're working with groups you're gonna suspend quite a lot of things and uh, bring them into view one of them is already docked themselves uh, so a couple of them have already docked themselves actually uh, so yeah basically uh, that's that you can uh, stretch them or you can uh, uh, make them sort of like vertical and everything like that but uh, the most important ones for me are uh, like like this one like this one here the 3d one I like having this in view right next to the standard one uh, this one has all the 3d information which are quite uh, i use quite a lot like the 
perspective view the iso isonometric and uh, obviously you can also get the shortcut shift plus f3 shift plus uh, i mean control plus f3 and then this one also i use quite a lot when i when, when, I'm, when i'm doing renders and, and light and sun study um you can also use like the explorer mode we can i'll show you later on how to add shortcuts to to some of these like if i want to take a render if i want to uh, photo render settings and everything like that uh, create a sun study uh, create a fly through all of the stuff I, I, I really like using that like like things like this uh, um, I'm not really keen on this because I already have this two bars here the, this this tools actually on, on on my toolbox so I don't need that and also these ones also I don't need them I also have them on my toolbox uh, this one uh, I, I use quite a lot so I'm just gonna go ahead and dock this in right there I want to dock it underneath so I can just slide it right there. Uh, this one, there's nothing here that I like to use because most of it is like the split tool, the filter tool, the intersect tool, the uh, adjust or extend tool, uh, the trim tool, all of these uh, are, are already showing right there. So I don't need to have that in there. This one, I don't have to also. I don't, I don't think I need that because I can just use that information and uh, zoom out zoom in pen and everything like that so just I can just use a mouse for that and also the Explorer it's already showing on that uh, including the orbit uh, too and then the save uh, blah 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 like no no this is this is a specialized uh to 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 bar but uh, it's not really that necessary uh, another one i like to to have is this one perpendicular perpendicular constraints and parallel constraints uh, i i really like it for that reasoning and also if i want to use uh, vertical planes and horizontal planes uh, when i'm working in 3d and uh, some of the information also is already shown like the guidelines are already uh, indicated over here so um, I usually dock this at the bottom because I don't use it that much and also I think these are the on-screen views uh, I use them quite a lot to show line weights and uh, unshow line weights or show the direction of uh, uh, the, 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 the when I draw what direction is my uh, is my drawing in I can uh, uh, filter fill angles uh, direction of fills and uh, some of the stuff like uh, my staircase baseline uh, and everything like that so I'm just gonna dock this at the bottom I don't use it that much but when I'm doing my design work in in, 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 in sort of like 2d whether it's in section elevation or plans uh, I use that quite a lot and also this information right here um, I don't necessarily need that the reason being is because I have my uh, navigator over there uh, and also this this is the classic uh, archicad view uh, view options i don't need that and also this um i think i need this because uh, some of the stuff is very important and we are going to be getting into it in our next videos like the uh, layer mode layer combinations and uh, lines uh, fill, fills uh, building materials uh, composites, line, uh, pen settings, uh, surfaces. Uh, I'm not gonna go into zone categories. That's really up to you. And profile manager. No, I'm not gonna go into that. But um, I use this quite a lot when I'm when I'm in work mode. Because sometimes if I want to just create a profile, I can click here. So that's a palette on its own. Instead of going to Windows and switching on a palette right there so i like that uh that, that works quite well for me if i want to set up my pens i can go there there if i want to set up my composites i can go there if i want to set up my uh building materials or surfaces uh i can just click them in on and off right there um this is already showing so i don't really need to um have the show or have this uh this toolbox here uh, toolbar, I mean, uh, here's another toolbar that I don't need because it's already included in that uh, 3D uh, toolbar. 
and then uh, this last one really don't know what this is so just gonna leave that just gonna delete that so if you just go to two bars you can see all the ones that are ticked uh, are the ones that are showing on the screen right now and the ones that are not ticked are the ones that are not showing on the screen obviously so that's basically it uh so i think there's another option i've never used this before so two bars you can maybe ed edit how uh the two bars sort of like um so these are the these are the ones like the standard you can add anything in the standards or just click something and then remove it and blah blah blah, blah, blah. it's really up to you if you want to go to like the uh, the on-screen information uh, you can remove a, a couple of things so the on-screen information is this two bar right here at the bottom so if you want to remove a couple of things like model view options or or, or, or whatever basically you can remove them and add more information into the tool but if you're really interested in doing something like that for right now i'm not really interested in doing something like that at this point in time uh, so that's basically it and uh, what you can do at this point in time i would suggest you can go ahead and just save as now i want to save this on the desktop for now so we're gonna be saving this as a let me just give it a name so i'm gonna say studio uh 39 ds yeah ds uh, 2020 standard standard yeah, standard and instead of uh, of leaving it as a pln uh i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna save it as a archicad uh, project template so that's a, a, a tpl so that's what's gonna happen so if i just close this if i want to edit my templates i can just control uh o which is open this is control all right there i like using shortcuts i, I believe that you don't understand a software until you understand the shortcuts because it does cut um, a lot of time a lot of time that you you could be using looking for things on the screen if you just know shortcuts then you know you can be faster and uh, I mean your, your boss might appreciate you for that or you could even appreciate yourself for, for knowing information like this so uh, basically that's really up to you so uh, if right now you can see uh, studio 39 ds 2020 standards is showing or i can just click open and go on the desktop and then identify what type of file i want to use uh, tpn tpl right there click it and then open it and uh, obviously uh, then i can start you know adding more information on that uh, on the template that i created so that's basically it uh, uh join us on the next videos which are which i'll be talking about uh lines fills and pens and uh yeah that's it for me richmond uh thank you guys love you and uh, god bless you